Hello my people, welcome back to my channel. This is Burgess Reaction Videos, TCR 66. I am Cindy B. Thank you very much for joining me here for here today for this short little video. Again, my place is a wreck. I'm waiting on the people to come and put the door in. They were supposed to, supposed to come today. Um, got an email about it yesterday. And I have known about it for a few days. So they're supposed to be here, and the time is already 2.40. I don't know why these people like to work so late. I get tired of the maintenance man leaving my house at 7 o'clock. So, anyway, quick little video, because uh, I'm working on a project. Once I finish the project, I'll probably make another video, but not today. Uh, so, quick little video to show you some stuff. I said the thank yous out already. I received uh, this from my Amazon wish list. People, this is a wonderful fragrance. This is from Lisa. Thank you, Lisa. Hello, hello, and Merry Christmas to you. Um, this is from Lisa. And the fragrance is uh, Acorn Spice Scent. It's a three pack of the Mrs. Myers Clean Day Dish Soap. This stuff smells delicious. It reminds me of. Um, I don't know, it sort of puts me in the mind of, uh, takes me back to when I was a kid and my mother would be in the kitchen uh, cooking, what was it, molasses pudding, and then it sort of smelled, was like, you know, um, ginger snaps. There's something very familiar about it, and I absolutely love it. And again, this is one of those limited edition fragrances, my people. So, I got that, so thank you very much for that. And she also purchased the uh, Acorn Spice hand soap. This is also in a three pack. The other one is in the bathroom. And I forgot to grab it when I was back there grabbing the uh, dish soap. So, you know, I use dish soap all over. I use, because uh, I have a problem with chemicals. So, I use uh, dish soap for a lot of stuff washing out the tub, washing out the sink, and so on and so forth. And then I might go over it with antibacterial white but I get the hand soap and the matching dish dish soap so thank you very much um have been putting out a lot of videos lately doing my mud things because I'm having speech problems and I saw my doctor yesterday and um, explained to her the situation so on and so forth so I'm doing what I need to do and um it is, I'm being affected by my environment, people, by my environment, which is causing a lot of stress. And with the fumes and the stress that is causing combined, it is causing me to, my, my eyelids to do weird things. And I feel like my lips and my tongue getting in the way when I'm trying to talk. But no, I'm not having a stroke. Okay, and then I got yesterday the sound machine. This is from Melissa. Thank you very much, Melissa, for the sound machine. It you can operate this by battery. It would take four batteries, four AA batteries, or you can plug it in. And the plug is in the bedroom. I just pulled it out of the bedroom because I fell asleep listening to this last night. And I turned it on this morning. I gave it a rest and I turned it back on this morning. And so I just went in there and I grabbed it. And this is Hometics. The Hometics uh, sound machine. Get you some of this and get you one of these. <laughs> so I have thoroughly enjoyed this. Thank you very much for this. And when I end this video, I'm going to turn it back on. In fact, I'm going to order another one, so I don't have to keep taking it from room to room, is what I'm going to do. Okay. And then Lisa also, Melissa, Melissa, I'm sorry. Melissa also um, purchased the set of two, uh, wait, is this a set of two? I don't know if it was a set of two. No, it's not a set of two. It's just I wanted to and she purchased both of them. I wanted to and she purchased both of them. Um, these are Ottomans. Storage cube Ottomans. 
and I believe the measurements on this is like 17 by 13 13 so it's 17 wide and then the height of it is 13 and it's 13 this way so 17 13 and then the height is going to be 13. I love the way they package these because when the box came I was like I don't know what's in that box and I checked the uh, check the label to make sure it was made before I opened it. So it was very well packaged. Um, be careful opening it because I opened it straight down the center. I opened it straight down the center and you see this? But the fabric is fine. The fabric is fine. Nothing is wrong with it. So I love these and they're easy to assemble. And then you take this out. And you just do this. It opens up just that easily. And so you got your storage. And you pop the top on. Oh, this right here is it was inside the lid, and this goes on the base. It just slides right on down in there, and now your sides are nice and sturdy. And you put the top on, but but put whatever you want to put in there. Put your feet up on it. You can sit on it. It says it gives you the weight capacity. I've had these before, not this particular brand, but I never sit on them. Even though a lot of them say, you know, 200 plus and 300 plus weight capacity. I just use them to put my feet on and I store stuff in it. So there you have it. you got two of those. And uh, I'm going to go put that in front of my chair. And people with, with that said and shown, I'm trying to figure out, did I? See, I just bit my tongue when I'm talking. This is what's going on, so I'm not doing videos right now. But, um... Yeah, and I showed you guys, I remember I showed you guys all the snowdrop, and I was, I was like, get yourself, get yourself. <laughs> so, I wanted to come and share, share that with you, is what I wanted to do. Um, people, I'm telling you, when I tell you that this stuff smells really good, this here, acorn spice, Lord, 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 Lord. It smells absolutely delicious. And I just love, I just, it smells like some kind of food. I can't place my finger on it. But as I said, it's like a, a cross between molasses pudding, which is like a cake in case anybody doesn't know. It bakes up just like a cake. It's like molasses pudding and gingerbread mixed together. So whatever it is that goes in those two, those two desserts, that's the spice that's used in here. So anyway, thank you very much for um, sending those things. The lighting is really bad. As I said, this is just a very short video. So let me do it. Yeah, I didn't even do my thumbnail. I'm going to go and I'm going to do my thumbnail. and. It looks like I'm going to have to take a walk over to the leasing office to see what's going on with the door. And uh, because, as I said, the email came through yesterday and then I was notified uh, in a phone call uh, the day before yesterday and told about it face to face in the office. So I do not know what's going on, but I wish that they would hurry up and get here and do what it is they have to do. And I was scratching my nose. I was not wiping it. What is this? So this fell to the floor. So anyway, uh, yeah, update on my knee. Update on my knee. It's dealing with arthritis, and so um, I have to do physical therapy. I opted for the physical therapy and the knee brace. Um, if those things do not work, then we will do the knee injection. Um, 
And I think what she said was, there's a knee brace, and then there's, a, I think, a cold press, some kind of press. I have, I have to look at my, my information, plus the, therapy, plus the physical therapy. And she did fill out my form for um, paratransit, so it looks like I'm going to be able to get any place I want to go, whether I want to do shopping or a doctor's appointment, and they will, it's door-to-door -door service. And uh, what else was I going to say? Um, yeah, everything else seems to be okay. My blood pressure was 118 over 80. They're okay with that. I, I prefer my bottom number to be mid-70s, but it was 118 over 80. I lost 5 pounds since the last time that I was there. And the last time I was there was about a month ago. It was about a month ago. She wanted to see me two weeks later, but I had to change the appointment. So it was a month ago, and uh, I dropped 5 pounds. That's a good thing. So that is what I have to do, considering what's going on um, with my knee and uh, the rest of the stuff I'll tell you about in another video. But uh, so far things are looking uh, things are looking pretty good. Um, she sounds like to me she knows what she's doing. It's good vibes, good energy, and. and uh, yeah, so I'm just continuing to eat my my salads as a side and uh, not really use a lot of flour. Um, I had that fried chicken that I made. I think I made uh, a video and showed you guys. So <clears throat> yeah, and this morning I had a uh, bowl of skillet chicken breast cooked in like a tablespoon of olive oil, put some, you know, garlic powder and parsley on it, cooked it in the skillet and put that on top of some rice. I mean, did I say put that on top of some rice? I put that, I wish I put that on some top, top of some rice. I put that on top of my salad and I used um, a whole lot less salad dressing than I have been using, so, yeah. I didn't put that on the no rice. I think I got some rice here. Yeah, I think I have two more packs inside the box. And I'm sure I will eat it. Because they didn't say zero starches. They said if you have starch, make sure it's a little bit. And when you have starch, make sure that you have something else with it. And not just a meal of starch. So, um, I will no longer be eating that whole pack of oil in the bag. It'll probably be half of that and because uh, half of that is a serving anyway and uh, yeah so for tonight's dinner I'm not sure what I'm having but I know I'm having salad with it I only had the leafy green salad tonight I will probably have the coleslaw is what I will have and da -da -da -da. my acid reflux medication has been changed what else was there yeah, a whole lot of different things have, have happened, and I'm glad I switched uh, facilities, and I'm glad I switched doctors and all of that. So, yeah, we'll get more into detail, because, you know, Sister Girl is very transparent. We're going to go into more detail after the holidays, but I just wanted to give you an update on what is going on since I did just have my follow-up doctor's appointment. And on my Amazon wish list, you will see the knee brace. And uh, some other items, medical items, uh, dealing with the stuff me and the doctors talked about and all of that. So, I'll see you guys in the next video is what I will do. And meanwhile, I'm just going to be here doing what I have to do. Yeah, I took the, uh, I'm looking at that box back there. And uh, I took the... I took the label off, the address off. So I am going to go put everything back into place. All of my soap and all of my, yeah, all of my soaps and, you know, my, um, sound machines and all of that stuff. Put it back where it was and then I got it back in the floor after I finished wiping down a piece, get all the stuff off and, uh, 
so I don't track it all over the house. But anyway, yeah, I just wanted to come and share that with you and let you know who I wasn't really making videos right now. You saw right there how my lips quivered. Um, it's the holiday season. People are on Christmas vacation. And uh, as you guys know, we have a problem here with the fumes as well. And they are home and they are in celebration mode and they are hitting it heavy and it is in every room. I closed the bedroom off earlier today just in case because I was waiting for the people to come and do the doors and I don't know what else they're going to be doing. But I know the doors is number one. He might be fixing the bathroom drain, the, the stopper. There's a, a new piece that needs to be connected so that it you know, will hold water and release water, etc. And that right now it's just a giant piece sitting in the sink. But I'm not really concerned with that. So I closed the room off, all the rooms off, so that they could just, you know, do the doors, do the door. And then I went back in there a couple of hours later and that room was just lit. That room was just lit. So I had to open that window and this area where I'm standing right now connects to the other wall and they love to do their stuff so I'm back to right now uh, trying to find a decent place to sit which is what I was you know telling my doctor I said you know it all depends on where they choose to do it and that determines where I sit in my apartment and so she is well aware because even the first time I saw her I told her about the situation at the other place and I told her about here and I said um, I'm no longer nauseous and stuff every day and since then everything has changed but she told me in that first visit even though you're not dealing with those drug fumes right now she said um, you still could be dealing with the effects of them so for the person who came through and YouTube cultural comment talking about, girl, you know you need to be tested for Alzheimer's disease. All this stuff going on with you. Being forgetful. Can't remember what you needed to say. You are, you know you sick. You need to have yourself tested. Okay, you're not a medical um, doctor. You're not here. You don't watch my videos from beginning to end. You don't know my story. I know how to talk to my doctor and tell her every single teeny tiny little thing. And my doctor is just fully aware of what's happening up here. And if my physician says to me that even though those symptoms have subsided since you moved, it doesn't mean that you're not still dealing with them. You see, when you're dealing with other people's drugs, and this person came on talking about, because it, 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 it had the fumes in your house, you got all time, girl, you got all time. You get on my nerves. So, even the doctor knows that there could be long term effects from getting intense fumes like living inside a place where they used to cook meth or living over a meth, meth place or next to one and receiving other people's drug fumes all the time it can totally mess you up and it could be an irreversible changes so you know um, when you don't know what you're talking about you really should keep your mouth closed that's why your comment was not made public I didn't have to delete it. I didn't have to um, hide user from room. YouTube caught what you said based on my filters. And your comment, I don't believe, ever made it to the public area. So with that said, um, people, if you're dealing with drug fumes all the time in your unit and you can, you need to get yourself out of there and if you're dealing with drug units all the time drug fumes all the time coming through your your into your unit and it's real severe like it is with me at said and like it was at the other place you really need to talk to your doctor about it and let your doctor know 
that that is what's happening because it determines what kind of blood work tests they're doing. It determines what kind of um, CAT scans and MRIs and stuff that they order. It determines what kind of specialists they send you to because drugs taken first hand and drugs when um, they're coming into your unit strong enough to force you out of the unit for fresh air really F with a person's entire system and it's nothing to take lightly so um, all of you who say that you cover up the vents and you do this that and the other and you do the kind of things that I do go out for fresh air it really is something that you need to talk to your doctor about and let them know the severity of it. Let them know the severity of it because it is super serious is what it is. It's super serious and as I said it can have long term effects and when they know that um, because all this all the stuff breathing it in could could mimic other disorders but if your doctor knows the severity of it how often you deal with it and the effects it has on you inside your place opposed to when you're outside for like two hours having dealt with it. When you let them know that your experience outside, you, your living environment is totally different, that all that stuff that hits you inside you don't experience outside, it lets them know that it is the fumes. It is the fumes and it helps them to narrow down what to look for, what to test for, and how to try to help you the best way they possibly can. And if you do not tell them, you will find yourself undergoing tests and treatments and it will all come back negative because the symptoms are mimicking something else. So again, to all the people out there with the big mouths who want to, you know, come along and say, Girl, you know you're going crazy. You know it ain't that feels bad. Girl, you know you got it all time with some seizures. You need to get yourself some help and get yourself some place. Kiss my ASS. And Merry Christmas to you. Peace.